Hi, happy sunshine family. Today is October 24th, 2017, and Lunacy's back here with just a, a general announcement and a call for help from a Lunacy family, well, two members, Perry Buchanan and Tiffany Anderson. They were arrested uh, for check fraud, uh, accessing their TDA accounts. Uh, I've got a little slideshow to play for you let's let me switch over to here okay let's go to the start and while this slideshow is playing this just has all the different paperwork that that perry has sent me i'm going to read to you the emails that i got from Perry, the first one on the 19th of October. And it reads, Dear Sir, I was wondering if you know who or what law firm that Heather and or Randy are using. My girlfriend and I were arrested in Morrisburg, Morristown, Tennessee on October 6th, and I spent five days in jail, and she was in the Hamblin County Jail also for... 10 days before I could get her bailed out. The reason I got out first is due to health problems. I sent out the information to two people and Harvey Dent did do a video about our arrest. We used our accounts that we verified by telecheck before we ever printed the first check. We never intended or attempted to commit any crime. These were our main Federal Reserve Bank accounts and the Bureau of Public Debt. I do not have high-speed internet connection and some antiquated equipment that doesn't allow me to view a lot of videos for very long before locking up or losing connection. Please understand we are not asking for money or fame or scamming anyone. We simply are looking for advice and hopefully positive, in all caps the word positive, advice and energy for what we could possibly do to show the court we did nothing illegal. If you would like proof and more information, please feel free to ask anything. There was an FBI agent along with two detectives and a deputy that came to arrest us. They are denying us a court-appointed attorney because we use checking accounts. I want to commend you for your work and reporting on what all of us are trying to do to access our accounts. We just tried accessing ours a different way and got screwed and being made an example of. Thank you, sir, for your time and your hard work. Do you think Heather and Randy's attorney would be interested in our case? Thank you again, and we are completely transparent and asking for nothing but advice, guidance, and will provide you with any information if you are interested. Sincerely, Perry Buchanan. And I replied, Dear Perry, thank you for writing. I wish you all the graceful ease with this journey that the universe can send your way. Heather and Randy are sui juris. They have elbow or standby counsel appointed by the courts to help with administrative tasks. With any luck, the courts in Tennessee will recognize their non-existence by the time your case goes forward. With your permission, I am happy to ask publicly on your behalf in one of my videos. A general request to the family. Perhaps an angelic lawyer is listening and will help you out. I have company that just arrived in town. It may be a day or two before I get that video made. Peace and ease to you, Perry. Much love, Danny. And then Perry replied. He sent me all these documents that I got going on in the background here. It says, Dear Danny, thank you for responding, and I apologize for any delays in returning messages. I do not have a high-speed internet or stable connection that allows me to do what I need to do. Not to mention, I only have one laptop that is working, sometimes, right now, and it is a piece of shit. But at least I can try to get you any information that you request. My girlfriend and I were arrested on October 6, 2017. We'll be glad to send you more info and feel free to ask any questions. We are completely transparent, and all we did was use our main Federal Reserve Bank account and the Bureau of Public Debt with our social security number accounts and verified them with telecheck before we ever printed the first check. Thank you again for all your work and any help uh, that we can get. We are not asking for money, fame, or attention, 
and hope to receive information, hopefully in a positive light. But we are wanting to file charges of identity theft about our accounts. Thanks again. Peace and prosperity to us all. Perry and Tiffany. And I got this one uh, just this morning, the 24th. And uh, in parentheses, Tiffany was bonded out last Monday. Uh, I'm guessing that was yesterday. That is one of the documents I'm still trying to recover off the other laptop. When and if I can get it, I will send it as well. If you didn't receive these attachments, please let me know. There should be 16. And yeah, I got, I got your 16 attachments here. Uh, they're running in the background. Let me, let me go over and read some of the verbiage that's in this paperwork. Uh, we've got, well, the police uh, actions that were in the Citizen Tribune, Morristown, Tennessee newspaper that was October 8, 2017, the Sunday issue. Uh, Perry David Buchanan uh, has been charged with five counts of criminal simulation for allegedly passing counterfeit checks at Food City stores on East Morris Boulevard. The checks, which were written over a four-day period beginning June 29th, total approximately $1,475, according to Detective Mike Bacon. What... What's what's going on with the, with all these names? A, a a cop with the last name of Bacon? What? Wow. I, that's amazing. Uh, Tiffany Ann Anderson. Uh, has been charged with two counts a piece of criminal simulation and theft for allegedly passing counterfeit checks totaling about three hundred and twenty dollars at the sandstone drive food city in september no indication that these cases are related except for the email that we have from perry so here's his bond paperwork So he had five counts, and I'm, it looks like $5,000 a piece makes $25,000. Went through Papa's bail bonds. So here's the arrest warrant. General Sessions Court of Hamblin County. The undersigned defiant after being duly sworn to law states that Perry Buchanan of Morristown, Dennis, Tennessee, whose name is otherwise unknown to the affiant, committed the offense of criminal simulation in the above county on or about July 29, 2017. Further, affiant makes oath that the essential facts constituting said offense, the sources of the affiant's information and the reason why his or her information is believable concerning said facts are as follows. On July 29, 2017, the defendant, Perry David Buchanan, went to the Food City located at 1105 East Morris Boulevard to make a purchase. The defendant used a counterfeit check to make the purchase. The amount of the check was $293.33. This was done to deprive the true owner thereof. This offense did occur in Morristown, Hamblin County, Tennessee, signed by Detective Ricky Sanders of the Morristown Police Department on the 6th of October. Uh, Teresa West is the clerk of courts for the General Sessions Court of Hamblin County, according to this document. Okay. First interesting verbiage, the defendant used a counterfeited check. And it looks like you wrote several checks, Perry, and I'm wondering what kind of check verification purpose or procedures uh, the Food City has. Every time I've ever written a check to a store lately, they run it through a little scanner that picks up the magnetic numbers or the numbers of the bank account and routing number on the check that are printed with a magnetic ink and 
it verifies that the account number and the routing number and the name uh, are all matching properly. And how many, how many times did you actually make a transaction? It looks like five times you made a transaction with Food City. And it appears that when these checks were presented through the banks for payment, they were declined. So hmm, kind of like the reversal, but yet the verifications went through. Uh, I'm guessing I'm guessing that there was verification procedures, but I don't know. That's a question for you guys. And also, uh, did you guys videotape the transactions that you made? That would be that would be really interesting to actually watch them run your checks through the scanner. Okay, so he had a couple arrest warrants issued, but they were all relating to the same type of stuff. Now, Tiffany Anderson, uh, this is being, yeah, okay. So Ricky Sanders is investigating Perry, and it's Mike Bacon who is the investigator on Tiffany's case. On or around September 23rd, Tiffany Ann Anderson did present a counterfeit check in the amount of $79.25 as payment for merchandise to Food City. This is a really interesting sentence. Ms. Anderson knew the check she presented was worthless and did this with the intent of permanently depriving the rightful owner of their merchandise. I wonder how Mike Bacon can make this statement without having interviewed... Tiffany Anderson. So I'm wondering if Tiffany was interviewed. I wonder if Perry was interviewed uh, by law enforcement. Did you guys give a statement uh, or did you guys choose to remain silent, which is certainly what I would do if I was in that situation. All right. What do we got? We've got the next one here on or around September 22nd. 2017, Tiffany Ann Anderson did present a counterfeit check in the amount of $250.62 as payment for merchandise to Food City. Miss Anderson knew the check she presented was worthless and did this with the intent of permanently depriving the rightful owner of their merchandise. Yeah, so this is... Hmm, what is this? These are observations of more people that are caught up in the system around the TDA accounts and a call for help if there are any lawyers in Tennessee, Morristown area that would offer some high vibrational help uh, to Perry and David alongside... <laughs> The case with Randall and Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. Um, I, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a retired cop. And I've been out of it for, wow, since 2004. So 13 years I've been out of it. And I, I don't have any legal advice for you, but I can... I can say that if you've got video or other documented evidence, especially the evidence uh, that you may have of your observations for verifying this with telecheck before you printed your checks out, um, that would be very helpful because that proves or lend or goes to, that's the observation that one would expect if these accounts are real. Um, so Perry and Tiffany, I'm going to close this video out with an affirmation. I just want to ask that grace bring all the love and light to every 
person on both sides or all sides, because I don't just want to limit it to two sides, we're pulling ourselves out of duality. And that all sides of this issue get the love and the light and the courage to stand in their truth, to reauthor and self-author their own perceptions from a place of knowing and have the courage to back up that new perception with the behavior that is congruent to your heart, which is now holding a higher vibration. Well, we're gonna be back really soon, family. Uh, as I mentioned to Perry in my response to him, I had some company in town. My best friend came to visit me and we had a blast. It was very healing. Uh, got a lot off my chest that I needed to get off my chest just to hear myself acknowledge it to anybody else. And, and I certainly have a few sets of friendly ears that I can talk to in person. So I ask that all of you take care of yourselves, be real gentle with yourself, and remember, when you give to yourself what you need before you do anything else, that is forgiveness. And what most of us need before anything else is just some allowance and some understanding and that all starts with self-love. And you know what? You're the only one that can really do it. I love you guys. And we'll be back really soon. Bye-bye.